Morena Koto, Matua Michael here for our uh, daily Puka Puka Korero. Um, as you can see, Matua just loves books. And um, being able to share some Puka Puka with you uh, over this lockdown has been really awesome. So thank you to those tamariki who are joining me. It's fantastic that you're joining me. Uh, thank you, Keanu. For your, uh, for your mahi, for your little message on Seesaw. That was cool. Um, so we're going to read, uh, well, I'm going to ask Tamaiti Toa Tui what, what we should read today. What should we read, Tamaiti Toa Tui? Oh, you can have a look for me. Mm, okay. Oh, yes. This is a cool one. The Piggy Book. Well, it's not called The Piggy Book. It's called Piggy Book. Piggy book. Look at that cool picture. It's by Anthony Brown. Piggy book. That's a bit of a play on words, I think, like piggyback. I wonder what it's about. Let's have a look. Now, the, the beautiful thing about Anthony Brown's books are his illustrations. His illustrations tell a lot about the story and about the characters and what's going on. So um, if you ever get a chance to have a look at this Puka Puka in the library, look closely at the pictures because they, they go deeper into the thoughts of the characters. Piggy book. Mr. Piggott lived with his two sons, Simon and Patrick in a nice house with a nice garden and a nice car in the nice garage. Inside the house was his wife. Hurry up with my breakfast, dear, he called every morning before he went off to his very important job. Hurry up with the breakfast, Mum, Simon and Patrick called before they went off to their very important school. After they left the house, Mrs. Piggott washed all the breakfast things, made all the beds, vacuumed all the carpets, and then she went to work. Hurry up with the meal, Mum, the boys called every evening when they came home from their very important school. Hurry up with the meal, old girl, Mr. Piggott called every evening when he came home from his very important job. As soon as they had eaten, Mrs. Piggott washed the dishes, washed the clothes, did the ironing, and then she cooked some more. Hmm. One evening, when the boys got home from school, there was no one to greet them. Where's Mum? demanded Mr. Puggett when he got home from work. She was nowhere to be found. 
On the mantelpiece was an envelope. Mr. Pickett opened it. Inside was a piece of paper. But what shall we do, said Mr. Pigot. They had to make their own meal. It took hours. It was horrible. Next morning, they had to make their own breakfast. It took hours. It was horrible. The next day and the next night and the day after that, Mrs. Pigott was still there, still not there. Mr. Pigott, Simon and Patrick tried to look after themselves. They never washed the dishes. They never washed their clothes. Soon the house was like a pigsty. When is mum coming home? The boys squealed after another horrible meal. How should I know? <sniffs> Mr. Pickett grunted. They all became more and more grumpy. One night, there was nothing in the house for them to cook. We'll just have to root around and find some scraps, <laughs> snorted Mr. Piggott. And just then, Mrs. Piggott walked in. <laughs> Please come back. They snuffled. <clears throat> so Mrs. Pickett stayed. Mr. Mr. Pickett washed the dishes. Patrick and Simon made the beads. Mr. Pickett did the ironing. And they all helped with the cooking. They actually enjoyed it. Mum was happy too. She mended the car. Well, there you go. It all turned out okay in the end. But it took a little bit of time and a bit of mahi, didn't it? I hope you're helping out around the home and giving your mama and papa and nan or auntie or cousin or friend a help with the mahi and the, and the whare. It's really important that we all take our turn and and do our bit to keep our fuddy nice and tidy and organized. Hope you're all well. Hope you enjoyed this puka puka korero. Ka kite.